Hey, welcome back to Not A Sermon, Just A Thought. Jesus is and always has been attractive, at least since his death and resurrection. More books have been written about him than any other figure in history. Every other year, it seems, there's a, a new movie or streaming series coming out about him. He's the most enduring icon ever. And that's the problem. He's become an icon. A pliable image easily turned into a marketing device or mascot, mascot for everything from, from t-shirts to television shows, political movements to motion pictures. He can be your homeboy, your good buddy, your boyfriend. He's useful, attractive, and he sells which suggests that somewhere along the line, we miss something really important. God intended for us to be conformed to the image of Christ, not the other way around. Of course, there are some benefits to having such a, a practical, versatile version of Jesus. He's accessible. He's amiable. He's attractive. He's patient and tolerant and kind. The truth is, Jesus can be just about anything you want him to be. The church has always been tempted to spin Jesus. We, we wanted Jesus to be cool. Everybody wants to hang out with the cool kid. And besides, it makes us look good. We forget, perhaps, that God didn't come here to change our looks. He came here to change us. The problem with spinning Jesus is that he never stays spun. The real Jesus is too honest, original, even dangerous. The way we've sometimes tried to present him Reminds me of those pharmaceutical commercials on, on TV. All those happy, shiny people frolicking around in the sunshine, thin and beautiful, radiating health and happiness. You know why they're happy. They've taken this drug. And then a very credible looking actor in a doctor's smock intones a few patients experienced nausea, headaches, dizziness, sleeplessness, depression, manic depression, panic attacks, and constipation. We, we tell people that Jesus is the answer to all their problems, that he'll fix what's broken, that he'll give them purpose and meaning, that he will forgive the past and assure the future. And all of that's true, quite true. To be honest, though, we should also give them the disclaimer. He'll do all those things for you. But he'll also confront you about your addiction to sin. He'll require repentance. He expects you to actively love people you'd rather hate, serve people you'd rather neglect, forgive people you'd rather despise, and he will require your unflagging allegiance, even if allegiance to him means death, which it might. Besides the blatant falsehood of it, there's the fatal danger in creating an adjustable Jesus. In reinventing him to be more marketable, more like us, we render him powerless to make us like he truly is. We wind up not only with a harmless Jesus, but a culturally housebroken Christianity. A domesticated Christ does not create a dynamic church. It's not a sermon, just a thought. <laughs>